Viacom was quick to ditch Nick Cannon after he sat down with Professor Griff for an interview and was later accused of making anti-Semitic remarks. Viacom cut ways with Nick Cannon and all hell broke loose. After that, Nick apologized, sat down with a rabbi and some other things. But a Viacom was not budging so I think uh, Nick did what he thought he had to do, and he sued Viacom for $1.5 billion, the estimated worth of Wild and Out, which is reported that he started with his own funds. Chris McCarthy, the president of entertainment and U Brands at Viacom CBS, said that it's a shame that they're not with uh, Nick Cannon on this journey that he's on uh, because he's a friend of theirs and you know he'd hope that they can work together again soon. Well, Chris, you got the power. All you got to do is make it happen. Did not know that Wild and Out estimated value was $1.5 billion. I knew it was worth a lot of money. I thought it was more like in the, in, the, in the neighborhood of a couple hundred million. I didn't know it was a billion. That's a lot of money. If he indeed started with his own money, then he has an argument. Whether he has a case remains to be seen because that's gonna come down to the paperwork. And Viacom got the best lawyers they got some of the best lawyers in the world. Not to say that they can't be beat, but they got some of the best lawyers in the world and that paperwork is strong. It's thick and strong. So it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. I imagine that they would not want to go all the way through with a lawsuit with Nick Cannon because this is a racial thing. And I don't think that they want to have all of the dirty laundry to come out. I don't think Viacom want to be known as an enemy to the black community. They don't want to put somebody as beloved as Nick Cannon on trial. You know, they don't want to be on trial with somebody like that. Uh, that's a, that would be a horrible PR move for them. Uh, I think it's in their best interest to perhaps settle the claim. Now, I have seldom seen a person sue a company and that company retain that person's services. So that'll be interesting too. Typically, if you sue a company, they may give you the money, but that's all you're going to get. They're not going to allow you to stay in that work environment. And I think the main reason they do that is because they don't want other people getting any bright ideas who work with the company. They want to let people know if you come after us, you sue us, then we're not gonna do business with you anymore. So we're gonna cut ties. I think that's the message here, but I could be wrong. What do you guys think? Drop a comment. Do you believe that Nick Cannon and Viacom can resume doing business together, especially in light of that lawsuit. 1.5 billion, damn, it's a lot of money. I need to holler at Nick. No more talk.